Hello everybody, we're back for episode 24 of Let's Play Lego Batman the Video Game. Last time uh, we played a, an aerial game, which was a lot of fun, not gonna lie. Our first aerial game of the game, playing in the jet, in the uh, bat jet. But, I mean, the, the boss battle, it really did annoy me. I mean, it's been about five minutes since I got off that, that's why I might still be talking about it, but... This episode, we're gonna play level four of... We're almost done with the superhero levels for the story. It's kind of it's it's a good thing but a bad thing. And this one's called In the Dark Night, which is actually interesting, an interesting title. So let's hop right into it, into story mode. And yeah, oh yeah, the, the human butterfly or whatever this guy is, he's hilarious in full neon colors. Drury Walker took on the persona of Killer Moth to fight the Dark Knight and develop Batman-like equipment to assist in his criminal activities. His flight suit enables him to glide silently over the streets of Gotham. So he's like a, a hippie version of Batman. Kind of. <laughs> and the killer moth. And he's in full neon. I can't take that guy seriously. I really can't. And why are there so many killers? There's like Killer Croc, and now Killer Moth. I don't know. It's weird. But I can't take him seriously. I just can't. There's Commissioner Gordon again. Harley Quinn and the Joker. And kill him off. Oh, he didn't die the first time? I guess they were just leaving from their last one. That's why they're still in the jet. Oh, we. Why did we crash land the Bat Jet? I mean, I'm driving that. It should not have crash landed. Jeez Louise. Wait, what? Robin? Oh wow, that's a lot of studs. Let's get all these studs. Last episode did have a, uh, maybe not a record low, but an, uh, a very low amount of studs. We didn't even get the superhero from it, which is disappointing. So I guess this episode is going to make up for it, hopefully. We can't blow that up yet. I don't know who this guy is. Let's beat him to death. Oh, we can't. He's a good guy. Oh no, it's fluttering, uh... I, I don't even remember what those things are called. Fluttering, uh, reflective cone, man. You know, like the safety cones on the road with the, the yellow neon reflective tape? That's what his legs look like. It's reflective cone. It's cone man. That's what I'm gonna call him. He's cone man. Whee! Cone butterfly man. We can't open that door without a strong character. That's okay. I guess this is gonna give us the ladder we need. Or something to push the ladder. Oh, that's not a ladder. Never mind. The elevator. That's all radioactive stuff. I don't know why there's a bunch of radioactive stuff flooding the streets. I assume because of Cone Man. I don't know, maybe he poops and stuff, who knows. Um, oh, we missed a, po a spot. There we go. There we go, that's what we were looking for. So I don't know what that's for. I guess that's for the Joker, those things. Maybe they're for Ro I don't know, I really don't know. Okay, those are metal as well. These are, there are random civilians all over the nuclear area. Is that really safe? Like, this is a car. I saw you coming with the back of my head. I have eyes in the back of my head, punks. I am the Dark Knight. Not this other clown. And, and his, uh... Not this other clown prince and his, uh... Reflective butterfly over there. Okay, so we have a go-kart. That's pretty cool. And things to climb up of. We have a lot of cool stuff to do. Okay, we cannot blow those up unless we can run them over. Oh, that's like a sports car. Look at this thing. I'm gonna run these guys over. Run him over. We're gonna run that guy over. We're running Killer Moth over. We're running him over. Oh, why did we stop? No. I was literally like two feet away from running him over. Dang it. Now we're retreating because there are a lot of guys there. Have fun, Robin. Bye. <laughs> Wait, was that a guy in a cape in that alley? Oh, that was Robin. How do you pop out of it? My car! All my studs, too. Okay, I got them all back. 
Robin, why didn't you beat up those guys like you were supposed to? Wow, we did drive a long way. I was just driving and driving on the, this is a sweet car. My Robin Gini, that's what I'm gonna call this. Just for you, Robin. Maybe this is the one made by uh, Wayne Enterprises. I'm gonna call it the Robin Gini. Just for you, bud. So everybody, say in the comments if you want your own Robin Gini. It only costs like five hundred thousand dollars. Actually, no, that's a bit pricey. Only fifty thousand dollars, brand new for you guys, in in Robin Red, or you can get it in Batman Black. Really, stop spilling my studs like this, bud. They're all neat in my pocket, and you just keep spilling them by causing crashes. There's Stan Lee again. Hey, bud. Stan Lee, how do I get in there to save you? I guess it's only the Riddler can take control of him. We're just breaking uh, fire hydrants for no reason. Oh, I didn't even—I didn't know they were, went out. I was gonna get that stud in a second. Dang. This is this dark alley? Let's go check it out. We're the Dark Knight. Ooh, free studs. See, kids? Always go in the dark alley. You'll get free thousand studs. Don't worry about it. At, just don't be Batman's parents and you'll be completely fine walking in dark alleys. We're riding in our Robin Red Rambo Gini. My Robin Gini. I'm Robin. I should be riding in the Robin Gini. You have a name after you. That's good enough. Stop Stop asking for more. You already had a name after you. You don't get to ride in it too. Make up your mind. Oh, that was just a random civilian jump, and I thought it was a cape earlier. Um, what is this, a Batman or a Robin place? Looks like I was blowing up stuff inside, even though I had no access to it. Oh. Sweet. Lego sign, that's pretty interesting. What is this thing? It has a propeller on it. It looks like a building, like a, a suit thing, but it's a fan, apparently. Interesting. Prepare me. I am the Batman, the Dark Knight. I fly through the air with the greatest of ease. I fly through the air. I'm the flying trapeze. I don't know all the words to that. That's why I just made up a line or two there. You probably didn't notice, though. That's fine. There's a lot of stuff in here to break. That's cool. I'm just trashing somebody's abandoned apartment. I don't feel bad. And voila! I guess we're supposed to... Actually, I have no idea if we're supposed to go up here. Robin, push me. Good job. Wait, Robin. Yes, Batman. Ooh, it's a bomb kit. That's exactly what we needed. Let's see if we can actually... I don't think we can. Aw, oh, dang. I think there's like an invisible force field there. Just making sure we can't get over there. That would have been some sweet parkour, though, if we had made that. And now with the bomb kit, we're just going to go back and blow everything up for the studs, because I'm Cheapo McGee. Cheapo Studs McGee, that's my name. Don't wear it out. What are we building? Is this another... No idea what this is. Uh, it's an oven? Question mark? Question mark? Oven? Uh-oh. I hear the Joker laugh, and I'm so scared that if I'm, I was afraid that was going to blow up on my face. But then I realized, oh yeah, this is a Lego game. Things don't do that, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh well. And heck yeah, I'm going to go back way to the very beginning and blow up all those that sewer thing, too, just because I can. Actually, now I'll save that, the sewer cap in the beginning just for the... For the, um free play. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, purple, holy cow, purple studs. That's exactly what we wanted for our... We just got 30,000. There's our superhero. I'll, I'll save all the other sewer caps for the free play, because we're probably going to get superhero this round anyways. That's what I like getting as superhero during the, the uh, episodes. 
I was debating between saying levels and episodes, sorry about that, but yeah, I had to debate, make up my mind which I was going to say. But yeah, what is this truck? Can I blow it up? Silver, sure, why not? <laughs> I just blew up a whole truck. Okay, I guess this is like a secret area, kind of. We didn't go in here, did we? I don't know if this is where he went or not. I don't remember. I think it is, actually. Maybe. So I guess there's a Robin vacuum kit up here, maybe, because there's the things for him to suck up, and then the... Who knows? This is like a bar and casino-looking place. Blow up everything on this bar. You're not allowed to drink, people. It's bad for you. It would save me, you know, a lot of time if none of you drank, because then none of you would get drunk and come up with stupid evil plans. So don't get drunk, kids. And Gotham citizens. I'm just going to make sure this is where I'm supposed to go. Yes, it is. Okay. I wasn't sure. I didn't remember a truck being in front of it. Let's get up there and get this blue stud. That might put us over the limit. No, not quite. Oh, another... Another Robin Gini. We can both ride them. It looks like this one's in Robin Red, too. Yes, it is. A Robin Gini. Oh, and then it just got blown up. Hey, free stud from it. Can we just actually keep doing that and getting free studs? That'd be pretty hilarious. The Robin Gini moved out of the way. What the heck? These cars are pretty smart. Holy cow. Look how smart the Robin Gini is. It moves away from potential hazards. It just drove itself forward. This is like 2015. See, Wayne Industries is very, very advanced. Our Robin Guineas drive themselves when they're in, in a threat, you know, when they're under threat, you know? When they don't feel safe, they just start driving, okay? So don't yell at them. That's all I have to say. That's the only advice. Don't yell at them in, in a mean tone or else they're just going to kick you out with a special ejector seat in the bottom and they're going to drive away. Who knows if they'll ever come back. And I'll leave this sewer cap for the free play too, just because I can. And maybe we'll find mini kits next episode. I just want the... Oh man, can I... <laughs> Driving in my Robin Gini. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Robin Gini. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, I know a better song than this. Let's see. Do 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 Batman and my Robin Guinea. You blew up my Robin Guinea. You're gonna pay for that in forty thousand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I was wrong. I said it was fifty thousand dollars earlier. It's actually forty thousand studs, apparently. That's exactly how much it costs because that guy gave me exactly how much it's cost because he blew it up. He was rude. So yeah, everybody can buy a Robin Guinea right now today from me, Batman. Or not me, Batman. Batman doesn't know what these are, but you know from Wayne Industries for only 40,000 studs, which is uh, four blue studs. Oh, actually, four blue studs is only 4,000. He only paid me a tenth of what it's worth. It's definitely worth 40,000, though, not 4,000. So It probably only cost me 4,000 to build it, but, you know, I'm going to tr charge you uh, 40,000 for it because that's how uh, capitalism works. Or consumers. I don't know what it, exactly that is. I think it's capitalism. So yeah, all of you out there can buy your very own Robin Guinea in Robin Red or Batman Black. Um, and it's probably in another, in a couple other colors too, but you know. You can buy the 2015 model of the uh, Robin Guinea for, in Robin Red or Batman Black for only 40,000 studs. So be sure to put in the comments how many you want to buy and when, and you know. So tell me, what model year you want, I would recommend the 2015. What color, etc., etc., etc. Because look how fast this baby goes. It's you know, super fast, super fly. And as we've shown earlier, it drives itself when it's in threat, when it feels threatened. Oh, it didn't there. That's because it's being silly. But it does most of the time. You know, 99% of the time, can, it's confirmed that it moves by itself when it does when it feels threatened. Not all the time or anything. Just when it feels threatened. It totally will not drive itself back from your house to our factories, factory right after you get it with no way of you knowing where it is or that it's your your car that was tracked, you know? 
That is totally not how this, this works, I promise. It's not how any of this works. So yeah, buy yourselves a brand new Robin Gini today. Okay, I'll get over free advertising now. I don't know, I heard something rustle behind me. Don't see a cat though. I don't see Robin's suit either, unfortunately. Probably in a special area. Maybe one of those manholes outside. Doobie. I really want to get in the Robin Gini and keep driving around, but uh, I'm getting distracted. Batman. What am I supposed to do up here? Break these things? Okay. What's the point of going across there? Exactly? But what is that punching noise? Okay. Oh. I thought both of them were missing tiles. That's why I wasn't pushing them already. Because I saw the t missing tiles on the other side. I hear punching noise and I don't like it. Not in my casino. Actually, this isn't my casino. But, you know, my car is being displayed here. So it's my casino now. That'd be great if I could just break the fourth wall and jump right into the audience or something. Like, is like that would be hilarious. That would actually be super funny if there was, like, something like this. Where it kind of looks like it could be in a TV and there's, like, and you just are able to jump out of it. And there's, like, a studio audience sitting, like, a couple feet back. where you, Just where you can't see them standing there. But if you can jump over, you can. That'd be the funniest thing ever. I won't be able to move this too far because it, there are tiles missing, but... Yeah. I'm not exactly sure... I'm gonna go over there again, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There, those pink things are for Poison Ivy. Huh. Oh, jeez Louise. Robin, are you up there? No. Oh, you're closer than I am, so go ahead. Sorry if this is a longer episode again, guys. Um, I just kinda got distracted with the Robin Guinies. But, but hey, Batman, they're stylish! Just like me. See, I just did a backflip there, Batman. Uh, they're super stylish, just like me. I'm, I bet they could do backflips, too. So... Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. There's nothing to blow up here, is there? Yo, yo, get out of my way. Come on can't blow up whatever these things are hanging from the roof. Am I missing something again? So what we're looking for is tiles, right? It's not that I need to go under those man hole covers or anything. It's just that I'm missing tiles, and they're not tiles here. They should be here somewhere. I'm going to go back outside real quick. I get to drive the Robin Gini, yeah! I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do, so I'm actually going to go right out here and break this manhole cover, these two, because they're right outside, so maybe I should. Maybe it, maybe I need that suit, the Robin suit, to give me extra... Where am I going? What am I... It's just a hole, okay. You know, can you, can you not? Maybe this is supposed to give me the Robin suit that I need to get all those pieces and and you know maybe that gives me the tiles I need I don't really know so but we're gonna try it these both have ladders that lead to absolutely nowhere but what, what even what kind of a sick joke is this um okay I'm actually a huge lot no way they'd hide something that far back they might no way. No way. Because we built the Robin Gini right out here, and then we drove it around. Bring it around town. And this... What the heck? This probably leads somewhere, but I have no idea where it would lead. Like, it doesn't... Like, I can't see in there to see if it leads me anywhere. Can I, like, change my... 
my video thing, like... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I think it's okay. I think we're okay, guys. Sorry. Okay. We're not touching that anymore. We're just gonna go inside real quick in our Robin Gini. The, the reason I got so scared there, because if I had reverted to the original settings, uh, things might have just gotten royally messed up with the Batman, because I know they did before. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Hopefully. But I'm just gonna go inside real quick and... has to be a way to do this. Oh, guys, sorry. I will be back. I'm going to take one more cut. Unless we have to blow those things up up above. Because Robin, or Batman isn't a kit. I'm just going to call it a kit. Kit suit. They're kind of interchangeable. So, if maybe we have to blow these up. I mean, it doesn't... Oh, they are shiny. I just saw one shine. I'm pretty sure I did. Stop hitting Robin. Just put a thing down, Batman. Put a bomb down. I have my keys on the wrong controls. That's why it's... Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. That's the only thing I can think of. Yes. Okay. Tell me this worked. There we go. See, we didn't need to take a break, guys. We're smarter than that. We're smarter than that. That was the last thing I could think of. I just saw them, and they were, like, gray, and I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe this will work. So yeah, now, sorry for the super long episode. Hopefully it's not that bad. Hopefully it's only like 35 minutes or so, but... Thank you all so much for uh, sticking with me. This lady wants on the elevator, too. But yeah, guys, sorry for the long episodes, but thank you so much for bearing with me and understanding. I, You know, this is the first time I'm playing this, so I'm going to be confused, just like anyone else would. Although that... Oh, maybe I can bring... Nah, I want to bring the Robin Gini up, but that would just distract me. So yeah, guys, tell me how much you want to pay for the Robin Gini. Actually, it's not a not a question. You have to pay 40,000 studs for it. For the cool... The coolest, fastest, speediest car around that... This looks just like a dance floor from LEGO Star Wars. And that's like LEGO Gambler Man. I was going to say like LEGO Indiana Jones, but I don't think he, he uses the whip, so... No. But yeah... Get the coolest, fastest car around in Robin Red or Batman Black. Totally a coincidence that it's named Batman Black, by the way, because Bruce Wayne doesn't know who Batman is, of course. But, you know, what is, what is that weird guy right there? That that is that the Joker in his younger days with red hair? I don't know. That's, that's hilarious. But, yeah. Definitely let me know what color you want that uh, Robin Gini in. It's, per, it's spelled R-O-B-I-N. G-H-I-N-I, -I, Robin Gini, I think. Am I in the spelling bee yet, Mom? Anyways, I'll have my men, my managers look up in the directory how much it costs, but... Go ahead and buy one of those now. Why are those Robin's colors? I don't know. But... Yeah. With a brief uh, payment of 40,000 studs in the mail to uh, Bruce Wayne Labs and, you know, in your order, we can definitely get that to you. This fastest, coolest car around that, you know, drives itself away from danger. That sounds pretty cool. Robin, get over here. I think we had to do a similar thing in uh, LEGO Star Wars. I know there was a dance floor in Jabba's Palace. Not his palace. His... I think we were actually on the, um, on the skiff which is that, like, boat-looking thing that they took out to the Sarlacc pit. So we weren't in his palace, but, you know. Battle. 
that just DJ Bot 3000 there? Awesome. I'm dancing in my chair right now. I need to get the Robin Gini up here. Oh, I can't leave. I need the Robin Gini in my life. No! Robin Gini! I was gonna drive around all the babes. Oh, that would've been great. Dang it. Why can't we break this thing? Is it because... I think it's because we already started the DJ Disco, whatever it is. Oh no, we got it. <laughs> we only blew up the top half. Okay. I assume this is a vacuum kit, or the kit to get rid of those blocks by the wall. Oh, it's the tech kit, so we can get that thing by the pool. Can we not break DJ Bot? I don't know. Oh, there's a thing over here. Oh, we get to control DJ Bot. Swag. Swag, swag. DJ Bot, come on through. Do, 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 I'm getting super distracted this episode, guys. I'm hoping this episode isn't too long, but I have a feeling it'll be about, you know, 35 or 40 minutes. Sorry, I do apologize for that. But, you know, I'm sticking true to my standards of one episode, one level per video, you know. Sorry I'm getting so distracted, but I hope it's okay. Once again, thanks again for bearing with me. I greatly appreciate your viewership and your uh, your support and, you know, any comments you have, good or bad. Or constructive criticism, not just being told jags, but... I haven't actually gotten any... Ooh, hostage. I'm not going to say what I was going to say, because it'll probably jinx it, so... Yeah. I'm tremendously happy with the comments and stuff I get, because, you know, they mean a lot. Whether it's questions or just small talk or, you know, it's, you know, it means a lot to know that people are out there actually watching and, you know, they don't mind sitting through a 40-minute video and watching. I mean, it's nice to know. So I can move that truck with a strong kit. I'm going to, I mean, I'm, I say those words interchangeably, kit and suit, whatever. I'm over it at this point. This is a different ladder. It's cool. I can climb up to it for whatever reason. Why is this all on fire? Did they torch it to cover their tracks? That's terrible. They burned this whole apartment building too. Jeez, what a bunch of jerks. Look at all those minions on the top of the second story. That's definitely to cover their tracks. That's like a crash truck, and they're all just waiting for me. The Joker's devilish. I don't even know what side the ladder's on to get out of here. Okay, Robin. Oh, it's on that side. So there's got to be a metal thing to climb here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. I was looking for it, and I found it. As long as we don't fall in the radioactive waste, we're good. If only we had a Robin Gini. Things would be so much easier. We could just drive through radioactive waste. And I can't jump off, unfortunately. What is this thing? It's supposed to be like a... Oh, it sucks up all the radioactive waste. Also made by Robin... or er, by, um... Wayne Tech Industries. Wayne Tech, I guess, for short. And I blew up the thing that it sucks the radioactive waste into, so that's bad. Probably should get out of here before it gets out of the tube. Oh, Batman, blow these up. This level had a lot of fun stuff in it. The rob from those super fast red robin guineas to the... To the disco bot. You know, that was pretty cool. And a lot of kit changes, too. 
from Robin especially. We've had like two or three kit changes this, this episode. All in a matter of like five seconds, but still pretty cool. Oh, and our first mini kit this episode. I like the graffiti on the walls too. That's what distracted me there. Um, I don't want to walk on the back of it, sorry. Like that guy holding like... That's the guy from Everything is Awesome before um, Chris Pratt. Everything is awesome, dude. Like, yeah, uh, everything is awesome. Oh, I can't even jump back there and get those things. That's sad. And that puts the ladder down for Batman, okay. I guess we're supposed to go around, that makes sense, but do we, do we blow that up, I assume. Bye, Robin, sorry about that. I guess that's a water cannon, too, to put out the fire. We didn't blow everything up. That's why it's not buildable yet. Blow it up before we get over there. What? Shouldn't, there be, shouldn't we be able to build it by now? I guess we, we have to be able to build that, because we can't get out of here. Okay. Oh, we missed that. Good eye, Robin. He threw that batarang without even looking. He's getting pretty skilled, like Batman. Batman's teaching him well. Aw, there we go. Putting out the fire with steam, apparently. Apparently steam works. Now let's go, Robin. I'm stuck. The first one get, saw my eyes, the white of my eyes. And they all saw their comrades being murdered. Well, broken by batarangs. I don't know if that's really murder or what, but... That's what they get for being in the in the criminal business. So don't don't be criminals, kids. Oh, that's that's red hot. Okay, so we need the red hot kit to. That's what I'm calling it, the red hot kit. We need the super hot kit to, you know, touch those. That's why we were getting burned and we were dropping stuff quick. My question is, why doesn't Batman just make all of his suits heat resistant? By force. I guess, granted, they would probably be a couple pounds heavier and thicker and he'd sweat a heck of a lot more, but, you know, he could probably do it, right? I guess it might be cheaper for him to just pay to place all these suit uh, transfer units around the city in, like, every trash can or phone booth. Wait, no, phone booth is too similar to another big guy that, you know... Phone booth would be too uh, coincidental with another guy. But every trash can, he probably has one in the city. That's why he, like, pays for it. He has enough money to do it. I guess Batman could do that. Pay for a suit transfer station to be under every city trash can. Or something. Who knows? I don't. I think this, hopefully, is the final battle. Oh. Radioac uh, reflective cone man. Oh, did he itchy? Oh, he, oh, he was trying to get his, his wings to work, I guess. What are those weird noises he's making? That was a weird thing that he was doing. I guess we have to maybe expose him to light? Or, I think moths like that, actually. I don't know. Oh, we already got him a heart down, so... Wow, he's hurting me bad. Yeah, get run, Mothman. I know that guy from somewhere. Who is that Mothman? Oh, I thought that was... Okay. Whatever this is, we use the Robin... Oh, we don't even have that suit. Darn. That's sad. Oh, maybe we're making a giant bug zapper. Who knows? That's rude. You just paid $4,000 for me to make another Robin Gini. Thanks for your contribution, guys. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I, it was definitely $50,000 in the catalog. But since you've seen it here, you know, for, I'm advertising it for only $40,000. You can have it all for $40,000. Just, just for Duke of Hoth viewers, though, because, you know, you're the best. Anyone else has to pay $50,000 still. Oh, there's the Robin tech suit, so we don't need to switch it out. Okay, nice. Can we run to the right here? No. We need the glass kit to break that, the glass suit. Or the ice suit, whatever that is. Ooh, there's another bomb suit, in case we didn't already have ours on. Okay. Do the heavy pushing, Robin. Okay, Batman. I guess Batman is needed to blow stuff up. I guess we're not doing anything. Oh, because... Because what? We have to do what to get this power generator up? There's a power source here. Does Batman have to blow this up? I don't understand. We have to get the power from this guy over to those things. Okay. Oh, we have to, like, hold J. Okay. Okay. There we go. And that sends the power source. I was just randomly clicking all the buttons. Okay. I was following this little line on the ground. That's how I knew what we had to do. That's the power line. It makes sense. Okay. Now we're charging up that, the light bulb, I guess, to attract him. Or, or hurt him. No, it's attracting him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it broke, though. Wrong, wrong keys. Okay, there we go. He's down to one heart. I assume he's going to start flying around, though, so we have to build this one, too. Yeah, he's just flying around. Let's go. Come on, charge. Charge. Charge! Goodbye, Mothman. I can't take him seriously. I really can't. He's in like a weird Buzz Lightyear colored helmet. Now just wait, Robin, and, and uh, imagine. Mothman. <laughs> what? No. Uh-huh. Bug spray. Oh no. Oh no. What is the Joker busting? Uh oh, Harley Quinn and the Joker outside. Is that the end of the episode? I guess so. I guess we're gonna go out there and stop them instead, because they're out right outside. Sorry for the super long episode. Sorry, I got a bit distracted with the Robin Gini and the and the robot disco dancer. But the robot DJ, Robo DJ. But I do hope you all enjoyed the episode probably a couple minutes long. I do once again apologize for that, but I thank you all. This is going to be the third time this video I've said this. Thank you all for sticking with me. I do appreciate your support and your, your viewership. It means a lot. And, you know, once again, in the comments, let me know how many of you out there want a, a Robin Gini for yourself. Only 40,000 studs. Just for you guys. You, know, you should definitely take that offer up. I'll pass the orders along to uh, Bruce Wayne, of course. You know, I'm just advertising his car for free, you know. Because I'm a swell guy. With that, next episode is actually the last episode that we're going to be playing as Batman until... Well, the Batman campaign. Next episode is the last episode level of the Batman campaign. We're going to be playing a lot of him in the free play, but we're about to finish the campaign for him and Robin. So that's actually... It's pretty nice, but it's, it's kind of sad at the same time. We're kind of wrapping things up. But we're definitely going to catch the Joker and... Uh, 
Harley Quinn next episode, so that's going to be really fun. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.